hi guys and welcome back to our channel it has been a long time a very long time since we last filmed a video and I'm so sorry about that but you know life gets in the way um, but yeah I thought I'd jump on here today and talk about the pregnancy um, possibly do like the pregnancy tag on YouTube I don't know answer some questions I guess but um it's really hot and I'm trying to get through this I guess we'll start with the questions and I'll, and then I'll just ramble on and talk to you about how my pregnancy has been going question number one is how many months are you how many months am I <laughs> Um, I am 37 plus 5 days pregnant. 37 weeks, 5 days pregnant. Um, I'm in my ninth month, I guess. Yeah, my ninth month. <sighs> Baby girl is due on the 10th of December, which is very soon. Two weeks and two days left, to be precise. Um, question number, oh my god, she just kicked, whoa, she's really high up, I'm feeling all the kicks up in my, um, my ribs, but, um, family's reaction, oh my god, amazing, um, first, first pregnancy was a miscarriage, but this time around, you know, she's all healthy and happy and it's what we you know can only ask for and um everyone's reactions family friends was just absolutely beautiful everyone was obviously so happy for us um do you know the sex yes so on the 1st of august we had our gender reveal party and for some reason i thought she was a boy some strange reason but she ended up being a girl obviously and i could always picture myself a little girl so don't know why in my head I was thinking boy, but um, yeah. Did you want one? Oh no, wow, I totally butchered that question. Um, what did you want? Um, I didn't want either sex. I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh my god, give me a girl, oh my god, give me a boy. I literally wanted a healthy, happy baby. And we got that and turns out she was a girl so yeah Mitra and I we weren't set on a preference which I don't think you should be like that or I don't know but yeah as long as baby's healthy and happy and everything's safe and going well that's all you can really ask for do you want more I mean, yeah, I don't want one baby. I want a few, actually. So, we'll see how this one goes. And, yeah, definitely want more, though. Biggest craving. I didn't really have, like, really big cravings. Um, first trimester was just... First trimester, actually, was the cravings. Um... I really wanted jalapenos, um, meat pies, um, salsa and dip. Um, I didn't really want anything sweet. I wanted savory, salty, spicy things. That only lasted for like I think the first trimester. Second trimester was just sweets and cho you know chocolates, lollies, like. But it wasn't. Oh my god, I need this in my life. Give it to me. I need it. Um, but yeah, and I don't have any cravings now. <sighs> Nothing major anyway, but um, yeah. Best part of being pregnant. Everything. Like, my pregnancy has been a blessing. Um, I have not had one ounce of morning sickness. Never felt sick. Um, my only symptoms were... Um, t 
tiredness, like sore boobs, um, a little bit of reflux. I'm getting reflux now towards the end of it, but it's not major. It's not every day. It's just every now and then. Um, but I love being pregnant. I love my bump. I love how like beautiful I feel and that I can connect with my daughter and oh, it's just the most beautiful thing and I honestly will miss it so much because it's just been a wild ride, an easy ride. Um, yeah, I just love everything about being pregnant, everything. Worst part of being pregnant. Probably having to get up in the middle of the night, which for me it's a rare thing, but yeah, getting up in the middle of the night, peeing, um, I had this really bad like hip, left hip pain um, and it was affecting my sleep and my yeah obviously like my lower back and at times I wanted to cry or I couldn't get to sleep and that was probably the only the worst part was just that um, but everything else has been yeah has been amazing names picked out yes we do have a name for her we have a few names but yeah we've got a name for her and it's very hush hush and you guys will find out oh my gosh she's really kicking me oh mama's girl she knows i'm filming she has to be part of it <laughs> who will be with you during labor it will be mitchell obviously my husband and my sister dom if Don can't make it, it'll only, it will honestly just be Mitchell and I and my midwife. Um, I would have my mum, but she would stress me out so much. Um, yeah, it's just those two and it can only be two people anyway. So Dom and Mitchell. Birth plan. Yes, I have a birth plan. It's not, in, it's not set in stone because things can happen. Um, I'm aware of the complications, the risks. Um, but yes, I do have a birth plan and my midwife knows it, Dom knows it, Mitchell knows it. So I'm not going to go into detail because there's a lot to it. But yeah, will you film it? Yes. So Mitchell wants to do a bit of filming, not the whole thing, um, maybe little snippets, um, but yeah, we definitely want to capture something and have that for memories, whether or not we share that publicly, we don't know, but um, we will be filming it and taking photos. Um, yeah, natural or medicated? <laughs> natural, if I can. Remember, this is my first time experiencing all this. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I might just be a bloody crazy person and just be like, give me the epidural. Like, no, I can't do it. But, um, no, I'm really wanting a natural birth. A natural birth as possible as I can. Like, um... I've been mentally preparing myself, doing hypnobirthing, um, positive affirmations, pot uh, reading positive birth stories, um, all the pain relief that I can have naturally that doesn't affect baby. Like I'm, I've been looking into a lot of things. So <sighs> natural over medicated, definitely. Scared about labour. Um, I was scared at first, like. Like halfway I was like holy shit it's getting real now like I'm on my, I'm halfway like I'm gonna push this baby out but how am I gonna do this like the pain like pain wise because I don't really handle pain well I guess I don't know but I'm not scared anymore I'm, I'm honestly changed my mindset my, the mentality around it 
and looking at it more positively and of course you have to like you're going to meet your child for the first time like you need to be um so i'm not scared anymore i'm more excited than anything i'm feeling so good about it i just it's crazy because she could come at any time and although i'm prepared it's still a bit scary but yeah what do you look forward what do you look forward to after pregnancy honestly just having her here like finally having her here <sighs> we waited so long for this and it's finally coming and i just can't wait to be a family mutual myself and baby and we've got our house to look forward to as well can't wait to move in together as a family um yeah i just honestly can't wait just for her to be in my arms <laughs> Breastfeed. Yes, I am going to try breastfeeding. Um, I can't wait. Um, I've looked into that as well, and you know, if things go wrong there, what can I do? Um, lactation consultants, things like that. Or yeah, I've done my research, so I will definitely be yes breastfeeding. Plan to work or be a stay-at-home mum. Honestly, I plan to be stay at her mom for as long as I can and I mean as long as I can I mean maybe like A year a year and a half. I don't know like honestly, we don't know but I am ready to be a mom for a bit I've worked ever since I was like 12 so That can sort of wait and Yeah, I want to be my you know Baby's life for as long as I can, especially those um, crucial first few years. Um, yeah, will you make your own baby food? Um, I definitely have looked into it. Um, yes, we will be making our own baby food when she will be starting to eat, like, you know, solids or like puree stuff. Um, but um, to answer that question, yes. Do you have nursery ideas or themes? Yes, we are currently building our house, so that won't be done until next year sometime. Um, but she will have her own room slash nursery, and I have saved little um, themes and ideas that I want to decorate her room. And yes, I will be doing like a little room tour thing when that is all ready. But yeah, I wanted to do one of these videos every week, um, every month, but there wasn't really anything to update because I was feeling the same. Um, obviously, Bump was getting bigger, but it's just been so cruisy and I only finished work like last, yeah, on Sunday, yeah, last week. So I've been going really well, like... There wasn't really much to update you on if I was to post every week or every month. Like, I think it probably could have got a bit boring. <laughs> um, but then you're probably thinking, why are you doing it right at the end? Like, there's no point. Like, she's going to be here soon. But I just wanted to fill you in on that stuff. But, um, yeah, like, health-wise for me, I guess, if anyone wants to know. Because um, we haven't really told, like, a lot of family and friends much about the pregnancy but I think every, like you know Mitchell's just been like yeah she's doing really well which I have been but um every time I would get like blood tests back or yeah any kind of testing back everything's been healthy um I've been eating healthy because of Mitchell um been active like working still and going for walks and not trying to be like laying down all the time um i've only put on like i think it's six kilos this whole pregnancy whole nine months which is amazing but yeah there's nothing really else that i can think of that i need to fill you guys in on but um that's that i just thought i'd film this and just you know because i'm not working anymore i'm um, yeah, my last day was on Sunday and it's bittersweet because I'm not going back. I've been there for nine years, so 
time for me to be a mom and then figure out what I want to do later. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's, you know, been looking out for me and just sending, um, sending a little message saying how I am, checking up on me. Like, I really, really appreciate it. And to all the mamas out there that I know that are pregnant or expecting, um, good luck and I wish you all the best and we will have our babies here soon. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you would like me to film next. Um, like this video if you would like us to film the birth and for us to put it up. Because I think if you guys want to see that, we will do it. But yeah. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. What a shock, come on, let me see you get though, babe. Oh my god, let us know if you want us to do the baby mama dance. Probably not because that will put me into labor and I don't want that. There she is. See how she's like really high. Cute. Cute.